we would like to go to America. And United States Catholic Charities was the one that, um, from in Wichita, Kansas, was the one that said, you know, we'd like to accept the family. And so we Kansas went. Kansas of all people. Yeah. <laughs> How many Vietnamese were there? Not a lot. Oh, God. Yeah. Not a lot of uh -huh. Vietnamese. And it was freezing. Oh, uh, really? My mom had no idea what this is all about. Were people staring at you? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, well, my parents are incredibly grateful for people in Wichita. But my mom had no clue. And so she she saw these kids getting on a bus going to school. Yeah. And she said, you know, maybe you should do that since you look that young, too. Yeah. So she wrote uh, my name on a sheet of paper, put it on my shirt, and just had me go on the bus and get to school. And they had oh no God. idea what to do with me once I got to school. And they called her and said, Did you she's speak not the English? right age yet. huh? Did you speak English? Then? No, barely. Oh, barely. Wow. It, yeah, uh, do you my, speak Vietnamese now? I speak Vietnamese, yes, I oh, do. Oh, great. Yes, yes. Wow, your English is perfect. <laughs> oh, you're so <laughs> wonderful. But, you know, but that's also very important is to stay connected to your exactly. culture. And I find that very important. In fact, we're, we're teaching our kids Vietnamese. And um, they it's are feeling... Good to know languages. Yeah. I mean, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we were in Wichita, Kansas, but because of For the freezing long? cold and, you know, that picture that you have up there with oh, right, me in right, the cold... Right. Um, we were there for uh, about a year and realized this is not, this is not the place to be. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we did another fleeing, but uh, fleeing the cold this time uh, to go to New Orleans, uh, Louisiana. And so my family stayed there for 10 years in New Orleans, Louisiana. Tropical weather, um, you know, so that was very good. You got to find the picture. So you were in Wichita and then from Wichita, where did you go? Um, so in Wichita, then we went to New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, and then oh, yeah. New Orleans, right? Katrina, tell yes. us about it. Well, you know, when I was in New Orleans, we um, we the the New Orleans community. I lived in a village. Uh, it's technically called a village because it's called Village de l'Est, um, and Village de l'Est is basically a place where a lot of Vietnamese refugees people particularly in the fishing industry, um, you know, stayed and lived and work. And so my family, you know, was let's very involved can, in that community. Let's show the folks some of these pictures. So that's a picture of my husband. This is the picture, oh. this is a picture of my family. This oh, is a picture of us You're, in New Orleans. And that's the house that we were, uh, that was flooded by Katrina. This is a picture of us in Japan. Oh, wow, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> what a proper young lady. There you go. Yeah, that's in Wichita, Kansas. You can see the snow. Uh, that's my husband, uh, Judge Tang Win Barrett. He's a Superior Court judge in Santa Clara. And see my family. I'm the oldest, so I'm the tallest in there. And that's in progression, my family. That's and uh, yeah, that's uh, us in Japan. Um, I was brigade commander when I, when I was in <laughs> high school at Castlemont High School in Oakland. So that's a picture of me in, at Castlemont. Oh, that's great. I yeah. love those family pictures. <laughs> Thanks. So you end up in Katrina, I mean, in, 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 in Katrina, in, yeah. in New Orleans. Yeah. Were there a lot of Vietnamese in New Orleans? There were a lot because we were in a village where a lot of Vietnamese people live, a lot of Vietnamese Catholics. And so what ended oh, really? up happening is we pooled our money. And my father was one of the uh, church leaders, and so he helped organize and we raised a lot of money to build the first Vietnamese-owned church, wow. Catholic church in the country. Um, That's incredible. And, yeah, and, and it, it was uh, really an interesting uh, kind of closure when right. the earlier, um, when uh, in June of this year, I went back to New Orleans um, to volunteer. I, co I helped coordinate about 29 Vietnamese-American lawyers and law students to go back to New Orleans and help with the oil spill situation in New Orleans. That's incredible. Yeah, so, you know, we got to see my house. Um, that First Katrina, one of the pictures. then the oil spill. Within five years, <laughs> Katrina and then oil spill. And so, you know, they, the community was I just know, have recovering. You ever thought, look at the background of New Orleans. is like no. some God-forsaken no, curse. No, I no, mean, no. In fact, you know, it's, it's a very rich... Uh, culture. I love New Orleans. I love New the food there. It's like wonderful. In fact, I, in New Orleans, I lived on a street called Saigon Drive. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Wow. Yeah. And, um, and the people are, are just really, 
they're struggling. Exactly. You know, they're struggling. Yeah. And yeah. um, it's kind of sad, but um, we, we tried to help with their claims and so exactly. forth. Exactly. But yeah. th tell me something, though. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we have this election coming up, yeah. and, you know, we were talking earlier about, you know, how certain minorities in this country mm. have really propelled themselves mm. in a lot of areas, mm. in economics mm -hmm. and politics mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, taking the Vietnamese, for example, in San Jose, you already have a um, board of uh, supervisors member, Madison. Mm -hmm. She's a city council person. Right, yes. she is. Uh -huh. And then when I was in a convention at the Democratic Party, there's a few mm -hmm. uh, Vietnamese mm -hmm. uh, candidates for very major offices. Yeah. So is that is that like part of the? What do you what do you? Um, what drives that, do you think? I mean, I would imagine their sense of community yeah. and as individuals like you, yeah. you were in a boat at three, yeah. you went to Castlemont High School, then you, you went to Yale. Yeah. With George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe a picture of George Bush, right? <laughs> no, before, be, be, before you were born. Okay. I did, I did and try to hunt down, I hunt down the corral where Hillary Clinton met uh, Bill Clinton oh, well, that, at the Yale Law story. School. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good story. I read that book. Yeah. Okay, and then you went to UCLA. Uh huh. That's incredible. I mean, that's you. well, your first generation, right? Yes. I mean, to 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 accomplish all that with yeah. you within the first generation, that's incredible. Thank you. You know, um, so you know, and, and speaking of other minority groups, uh, the same sort of fighting spirit you see that in the Indian people, mm -hmm. oh my god, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you, you look at uh, rosters of hospitals and the doctors are like Indians, mm -hmm. <laughs> so not only have they taken over the computers, now they're doctors too. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is good stuff, but uh, and then of course the Chinese they've been around for thousands of years, yeah. right? But uh, I mean, mm. do you see that? I mean, you give mm -hmm. back to your community. Mm. Is that part of what you're trying to do with your own community? Try to pave the way and keep on paving the way for others. I I think the first and foremost is, you know, what is great about America mm -hmm. is its acceptance of immigrants, right? And I think constantly to have infusions of new spirit and entrepreneurship and, and a sense of work ethic and so forth like that that comes with uh, people who are immigrants right. um, really keeps this country what it is. Exactly. I mean, I strongly believe in that. Right. And, and it's the same for the Vietnamese American community. You know, we came here um, trying to look for freedom. Exactly. And, and I'm very glad that a good number of us are seizing the opportunities that freedom brings, right. uh, educational opportunities, employment opportunities, entrepreneurial right. opportunities. Um, so that's very good. But there is no doubt at the same time the community right. struggles because by seizing entrepreneurial activities, for instance, parents find themselves working so much, you know, right, to keep yeah. a business, a small business going and not connecting with the youth. Yeah. Um, you know, they're always... There's always that type of issue, and so especially when you I think in this economy, I think I think this economy, if 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 there's any major constituency group yeah. that this economy has uh, impacted really negatively, it's small businesses, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, mm -hmm. and that's why because mm -hmm. because small businesses you don't have the safety net, right. you don't collect unemployment. Right. Right. Typically, it's hard enough to just pay yourself and right. you know then the real estate market is down so it's really a, a, a challenge it is but that's where the family strong family ties and relationship do come into play though, absolutely right? yeah there's there's one thing for sure is I am not able to be where I'm at if it was not for my parents right and you know at, at our at my parents house they put in the living room all our trophies oh, really? <laughs> and all our diplomas. You know, my what brother, kind of did you my get? brother's a lawyer. My sister's oh, really? a pediatrician. You know, another sister's a teacher. Oh my god! And so, so they're very proud of us. And so, for them, that is their a accomplishment. Of course, yeah. yeah. And so, one time we teasingly told mom, dad, I think the trophies need to go in another place, not in the uh, living room. You know, which is a little bit more formal, where you accept guests and. But at the same time, that's their accomplishment, and and it really is well deserved. So your 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 parents, mm -hmm. what really inculcated in you education? Absolutely. See, that's the thing. You Absolutely. know, we we have this problem right now with, yeah. you know, the educational.